Okay, let's see if we can get it to track me. Oh, interesting. I didn't have this locked. Okay, cool. Once again, let's contrast the wall because I look like a brick wall all the time. Come on. Come on, I'm using your favorite color to acknowledge I exist. Thank you. There we go. There we go. All right. Actually, yeah, no, let's. I think I like it on high. Can't really see it, but down there, there's a little propane heater. <laughs> um, you could probably see my breath. I don't know. We'll find out. All right. So I figured out what I'm doing today. We're not messing with the backboards. We're not messing with these. We are instead going to finish the sides. There's one thing we got to do. Let me get these over here. Okay, they're now stickered. There's only one thing we got to do with these guys. Let's make a template and cut out the legs. Because right now, there are no legs. And we're actually just going to cut them at the same time. How do you make them symmetrical? You gang things together. First things, first things first. And yes, I know this is not how you do it. You don't do it with the backs to, together like that. But first things first, we got to figure out our pattern for this. Well, what do you know? <laughs> this piece of paper is basically perfect size to do this with. Good. Thing I forgot. Hey, Chance, glad to see you here. Hopefully, uh, the chat bot room picks up voices here soon. Hey, Life and Pain. Glad to see you too. All right, do I have a set of scissors in here or am I an idiot? Please don't answer that because I'm pretty sure the am I'm an idiot is a yes. Because I may have to put us on a quick break and go get the scissors because I'm an idiot. But I could have swore I left a set of scissors out here. Ooh, nice and warm over here. I like that. Okay, we got. I just don't know where I would have put them at. I have a set of scissors that are missing from the inside, and I could have swore I brought them out here. Uh, heads up, guys. Uh, ad break in about a minute. I don't know why Twitch does it so fast off of me. All right. Where would it be? Where would I put that? But we might fake Twitch out, and I might go, as soon as it goes to ad break, I might put it on the be right back and go grab some scissors because we're going to need them. All right, that's clamps, throw my miter clamps, wood, what's in here? What indeed, this is all sandpaper, that shouldn't even be there. Router bits, templates, dovetail jig. Son of a bitch, that's where those are at? Good, get this out so I know. That's my planer blades. Everything kind of went missing when we moved. Okay.
How about you? You're the finishing crate, i.e. you should not have scissors in you, but also the sandpaper should be in you, so I don't know what the hell's going on. Okay. It is not in here. I mean, that'll work. That'll work. But I'd rather have scissors, because scissors are just easier to deal with. All right, well. What are you? OK, nope. Jesus, where is it? Here's, here's to Wes, trusting that he had scissors out here. All right, well, while it's an ad break, we're going to do this. Okay, everything should be back. Good, 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 good. Uh. All right, now we play the, I need my compass. I need my other things. We're gonna be drawing stuffs. I'm gonna, you know, drop the pencil about a thousand times. These are dividers, that's not going to work. Huzzah, there you are. Compass. Uh, hopefully the uh, voice bot recognizes people exist here soon. Be nice. Hello voice bot, are you woke yet? why it does that. Here's hoping it'll log, it'll give me some sound within the next 30 minutes or half hour or who knows when. So. I 
process. First things first, we go and we mark how tall is too tall so that we actually can get stuff rocking and rolling here. Because we do not want to go past the dado mark. In fact, I kind of want to go about an inch below it. Let's see if I can... Oh, well, that was a terrible move. Just put everything out of focus for you guys. There we go. Hopefully that's more in focus. All right, you're now lined up. That is too tall. I'm going to say that far is prime. what we're trying to do. Oh, okay. At this point, we can move things out of the way. All right, Mini Max, hold down the floor. Make sure these don't flip. Sure, don't flip. Uh. What I want to do how short is this? Here, I want it one bar in. We need at least there. Okay. Hooray for on-the-fly drafting. I'm glad I found those plane blades finally. That was actually kind of starting to aggravate me that I had blades for my plane and honestly I want to go one inch up. I want to make sure I have at least some level of repeatability. That is actually putting off a good amount of heat. It's not keeping me amazing, but it's putting off enough heat that I feel like I can at least withstand the cold. Um, We'll see on Monday, because Monday is going to be negatives in the Fahrenheit. And for those who know how to do their conversions, I don't want to be standing out here with heater or not in negative Fahrenheit. Um, I think it's like negative, I think it comes out to be like negative 20 or something like that. Celsius. All right, so now we've got that 
We've got a line that is approximately nine inch arrows, so four and one half on this side should be our dead center. Let's see what happens. Fun thing about this, I'm not worried if it goes into this. I'll show you the original pattern in a second. Ha ha ha, there we are. Now, am I worried that it didn't hit perfectly there? No, because it wasn't exactly nine in the first place. And I want one side to be slightly bigger because we're going to end up having to plane it down in the end. Anyway, so whatever. All right, so with that, I'm going to take this real quick. here and go woo and just say woo we have our pattern I hope to God you guys can see it probably not um, yeah but today we are trying out a new method of keeping Wes warm the electric heater just a Hey, Cam, how you doing? Glad to see you. Glad to see you pop in. Um, trying out a new way to keep warm because, as you guys know, there's no power in this shed. Everything's running off a battery that's electric. So I've got a little propane heater right behind me. It does have a carbon monoxide shutoff, um, so we don't have to worry about that. Plus. All of the rafters are open in this shed. This is not an airtight place. But Cam, uh, in case you're wondering, we are working on a shaker uh, cupboard. If you want to see a basic picture of what we're building, uh, exclamation point project. Plus, also, I've got this right here. And I don't know if you saw, but LARP is having a winter ball again. If you guys can make it, awesome. If not, I understand. I won't ask past that. Uh, so, yeah, this right here. And if you look, the legs are a little bit different than what I was doing. Um, but I mean, like what they originally did was make the legs and step them up and have this open area where, let's see, where? Where it just ra rides right at the e edge of the dado. I don't like taking material away from a dado that's going to be a load-bearing shelf, so I'm putting an inch of material underneath it. i rather it actually... Uh, i rather it actually would be able to carry weight than have a spot where it may absolutely fail on me because there's nothing holding it up at that area. I'm not questioning the shaker who first made this because we don't even really know what the original intent of this cupboard was for. 
Um, a lot of people speculate it was for seed boxes because they used to sell seeds. Um, other people speculate it was for jams and jellies, which cool. But for me, it's going to become a tool and bookshelf. So a lot of weight. <laughs> All right. Now that we got you here, the side I don't care about tear out on is this side. So we're going to put you down here and flip you here. Because we're going to gang this. And cut them at the same time. How do you make it look? Good. You should just cut them at the same time. Okay. Get me some clamps. The clamps. The other big boy because these don't leave marks all right and now we can do this That's all right, Kim. Like I said, it was a, I understand. You alive or dead in there? You look pretty damn dead. There we go. Get them loosely on there, and then I'm going to shift everything into place. laugh at me, but I'm now second guessing where I want that at. But. All right. But glad to see you're moving around. Glad to see you poke your face in though, Cam. It's good to see some old friends. Okay, now that they're loosely there, now we play shove this into position.
zero. <laughs> This is going to be an absolute nightmare, isn't it? Well, we know how to fix nightmares with adrenaline or more clamps. Oh, you're, st you're streaming again? Awesome. Um, give me two seconds here. Uh, I don't know if any of my mods are on right now. Yeah, but we can get people over your way. And it takes me all of two seconds. <sighs> oh no, th this thing died again? Jesus. Everything's working. I mean, at least we haven't. Okay, both are dead. What the hell? Oh, that one, I know exactly what the hell is going on here. You, wake up. There we go. That one, on the other hand, could be, could be anything. Every once in a while, yep. There we go, okay. It exists again. <sighs> okay, and that cam's dead again. Okay, can you can you see me? Okay, good. Okay, I don't know what's wrong with the phone cam today, but we're probably just going to get rid of it, I guess. Okay, it really does not want to work. Oh, oh, oh. It's got some serious delay on it. Anyway, okay. What we're trying to do, get this side lined up. Okay, cool. Because of that side, uh, at least now I have a point of where it's supposed to be. Let me do that. That's lined up. That's lined up, and it's acting as a third. It's acting as a second hand for me, so I can, I can just. Okay, double check. Cool, cool. Because I want those dados down there to line up as well. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Uh, you're just a pattern anyways. Come on, there. I know how I'll get past this. Scissors. This is supposed to be on the dado anyways. 
Now the reason I put the dado side in, oh, well shit, it doesn't matter anymore. I thought I was going to be smart and have all the blowout be on the inside, but if I was smart, I would have literally done it the other way around. Yeah, was do it the other way around. My brain is sitting here just yelling at me like, no, you're going to have a ton of blowout. <laughs> it's just going to annoy the ever living piss out of you because you're going to have to clean it up. I mean, I'm going to have to clean it up anyways, but I was trying to be smart so I didn't have like aggressive blowout on the side that can't be hidden. Okay, so to fix that, we instead do it this way. Okay, bottom's still there, cool. So that the nice side is clamped together. I do it. The dados are here, and then we reclamp again. Okay. Small wooden clamp. And like I said, the, uh, the wooden clamps are strictly because these do not leave deformation marks. Or if you can get deformation marks out of them, I guess is the actual truth. If you can get a deformation mark out of them, you're squeezing way too hard with these things and probably about to break them. Uh, you're probably, yeah, probably going to be close on the verge of breaking them if you're squeezing that hard. Okay. <sighs> Where are we at up here? The other thing is, I don't want the shelves to be catawampus either. in line. That shelf is in line. Squeeze. I don't care if the bottom's in line. I can always plane that into existence. I'll be way more pissed if the shelves don't line up. Here's our pattern. Huzzah! Okay. All right. It definitely is cold in here. Yeah, I, I think uh, knowing what the temperature is supposed to be Monday, there's probably not going to be a stream Monday. Not gonna lie, this, this little propane heater is probably saving my ass. It's not doing much, but it's doing way better than, than anything else. Okay, so basically, yeah, with this, you can actually see what I'm doing. So here's the dado for the bottom shelf. Now, the, the original plans called for like this and then straight up to the shelf and have that cut out completely. I don't like that, like I said, not structural. Um, so what I'm doing is leaving a solid inch here, just nice curved leg, 
over and back down and this is the dado for the backboards. It backboard and the front board are also going to have something like this on them. But yeah, so like just line it up with the top, trace it in, and then we're cutting them out. Wow, that is way behind. Okay. All right. I'll have to save that because that's got the basic curve for my legs. All right. Now we start the fun. Make sure that's tight. That's tight. like this. Okay, there. All right, loud noises, guys, loud noises. As soon as I find the mallet that is sitting right in front of me. Time for homemade tools. Cam and everyone else. At one point in time, we made ourselves a bow saw. This might be the last one. Okay, that's getting tough. Basically, it is an overgrown coping saw. Okay. You know, this is not how you want to clamp this. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't want to be cutting it this way. I want to be cutting it this way. Well, we can fix that. It is not hard. Not hard at all. No, because it's going to be way up here. Yeah, I need to cut it this way. Okay. Make sure it's on the pull stroke. How are we doing? Will I be able to? I'm very much uncertain. Very much uncertain completely. But I want to get... I want to get these done. So that we can move on to the next step. Just. No. 
no, no, no. Yeah, my brain is screaming at me this is wrong. So we will set it up. You can tell I haven't done much. Hey, Yankee. Uh, it's not a don't want to use the bandsaw. It's more of uh, I, I work off of a battery while I'm in the shop. So like running the stream lights uh, that takes up enough battery. But like when I use power tools, it's easier for me to do it in the daytime without a computer stuck to it because it will power tools will burn power very fastly fast on that battery. I think when I planed all the boards with my planer, it uh, it burned about half the battery in a like it's one of those I can't do it because I think the amperage for power tools um, will actually uh, crash the computer because there won't be enough amperage for the computer after the power tools are taken care of. Um, so as much as I'd want to, I can't. Not on stream. At least not on stream. Because there's too many other things happening at the same time. Power wise. Oh, it's like I almost planned that. Cool. Get it in there. stuff in the lower portion. <sighs> Thank you. Okay, yeah, this will be as soon as I remember how to do anything right. Let me put there we go so I can actually see my pattern. Oh, okay. What is in the freaking way? Jesus. Thank you. Okay. Now back to our regularly scheduled cursing. from the line because I know just how bad this is going to be. I, I got to remember, this is not a coping saw. Use full strokes, boys. Doesn't feel. 
seal quite tight enough. One more. Ah. Ah. It's not like I want to hands off. Hey, married with spawn. Glad to see you here. Glad to see you here. And well, unfortunately, usually there's TTS and it doesn't want to work tonight at all, apparently. So we'll just deal without it. It saws pretty dang straight. Is this the right blade, though? It's my other question. Ah, oh, that explains a lot. <laughs> I've got a fine-toothed blade on this. Let's get the course out. Like looking at it going, hmm, something feels wrong. Uh. Besides, you guys know that I want to use this. I spent how long building one? Tighten her up a little bit. Okay, let's stick it here. And then go... Now that it's tight enough to, oh, that is tight enough to hold its shape, I should say. Um, close. This. Let's try that. Next, look at the blade, go. Yeah, you look straight. Oh, there we go. Now am I sawing straight? Hell no. One. Why am I not sawing straight? Because Partially because it's a new saw, and partially because I suck. But I can definitely tell I had the wrong blade in. Because this is cutting way faster. Okay. Okay. I just really suck at using this thing. This cuts way faster than a coping saw, at least. <sighs> yeah, nothing seems to like the cold. I'm going to say, though, this is... There is at least a spark of warmth behind me, which is great. Was 
with as deep as this is, I should probably be using a handsaw before this and just sawing straight down. What do you guys think? Relief cuts? Prob actually, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, relief cuts because I'm already pinching the blade. Let's see if I can get it out. Wes is an idiot. 2.0. Uh, well, we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Okay. Yeah, let's get the hand saws out. Where's the... You should work. You should work just fine. I am an idiot at times, but I'm a lovable idiot. Lovable, I say. <laughs> it's cold enough that the friction is not getting wax onto this. Okay. Cut one. Ah, okay. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to put set on the bow saw, so let's get some nice hot tea in me right now while I'm thinking about it. And by hot, I mean not quite lukewarm. A little bit, a little bit hotter than that at this point. get these cut out so that we're at uh, rasp, rasp and files. Okay. 
relief number two of like four or five. Oh, you're welcome, Yank. You're welcome, Drew. Um, I've been told several times that I need to like release an ASMR track. But I'm thinking the way tonight is, I'm definitely not streaming Monday because it's going to be in the negatives here. And this is providing some warmth, but I don't think it'll provide enough for negatives. more cuts then we'll be back to the uh, to the hand bands all for the last relief. Right here. That'll do. Tinker. Well, as long as I don't sweat and catch hypothermia, we're good. You can sweat all you want.
All right. Back to being able to do things. This thing cuts way faster than the coping saws ever did. Which makes me wonder, how about I just... Hi, I'm at the bottom. Just do the thing I always say don't do, which is don't cope out your t dovetails. Well, we're doing it today. Even though they're not dovetails. God, I wouldn't have been able to do this without a... Twist the blade. The fact that I can go this far in makes me happy. Feel bad because Mecca would love to see this. giving my uh, turning saw its first real foray into battle. <sighs> Big old coping saw of justice. When we get this set of them done, I'm going to take a drink break and read some comments because, like I said, TTS is broken today. I really like being able to throw like a normal saw compared to coping saws where you're like, me, 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 I can actually get a good distance on throw. And cut through this fairly fast. You're, you're my new favorite coping saw, turning saw. Ah, uh, why does it keep forgetting me? Now, something's wrong with it. I need to lock it in place. So what we're going to do here... Let's see if I can get it to see my face. Well, we'll just do this. Come on. We're going to lock it. Damn rogue camera. Come on, lock. You can see my face, right? Right? Okay, do you want to see this face? Uh. All right, will this work? I just don't exist, do I, camera? Uh. Oh, it gave up. <laughs> It gave up at life. 
We're going to do it the old-fashioned way. One second here, guys. Let's hope it doesn't screw up. Boop. Boop. And I froze it. Properties. Oh, okay, so since it's locked. Oh, come on. Oh, duh, that's why it's doing it. One second here, guys. We're just going to make it permanently look there. Just more reason for me to stop playing with the gimmick of it following me around because it, it just does not acknowledge I exist. All right, so. 55, man, I would love for it to be 55. Right now it's about 37. But like in the next two days, it's going to get really cold. Like I said, the negatives it's supposed to be like, you know. We're getting there ever so slowly. This is why I actually really like the turning saw. Just I can really see it being useful for this, but like in the real world, if I'm not on stream, bandsaw. The bandsaw would be taking care of this right now, and uh, it would be literally seconds of work. There we go. Now we just need to prettify it, as some might call it. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't, haven't had much time to play with this tool in the past, so I don't trust myself to follow a line at all. But I can definitely tell I have more control than the last time. and carve out that, call it a day. Whew. Haven't built up these kind of arm muscles in a while. And for those of you who always wonder why I don't do my dovetails with a coping saw, this is why. Um, I don't have a lot of skill with a coping saw. Uh, <laughs> but also just like, I don't... I don't trust myself to follow the line close enough, so I'm going to be doing a lot of chisel work anyways. Um, and to me, the chisel is just going to do it faster for me because I can start and end with the chisel and do it faster than I can get a coping saw to cut close enough. But this is making me feel so much better now that like the parts are taking the shape that they're supposed to be instead of me just like dimensioning them and getting to that point. That explains why. That explains why. Why I wasn't having much control. Somebody didn't check what way the teeth were. And I was unfortunately being an idiot. Yankee's been talking. Yeah, I see I've been seeing you getting pretty far on that that bench build, Drew.
Not gonna lie, when I got to the point of like putting my bench together, I was both elated and scared. I know you weren't here at the very, very beginning of the channel, but I honestly, hell, let's, let's talk about it. So at the very beginning of the channel, I had this. Just a little Workmate Pro. Then I built, with that Workmate, a saw bench. And then with the saw bench, I built my workbench. Like, so for a solid year, I was just building work surfaces. It was just one, oh no. Up, oh, up, oh, it froze again. One dragon, wait. See if I can get it to work again. It's one of those days where everything is going wrong. But hey, I can't complain. Well, I could, but I mean. Come on. Just barely attached. There we go. Tells me it's still not quite tight enough, but you know, homemade tool, whatever. It still functions and it's still functioning for me. Okay, yep, you're getting stuck. Change direction.
There. Okay. We need to do that real quick. Now we're cooking with gas. I'm not following a line at all, but whatever at this point. quick go check on chat all right nothing new happening in the chat Let, let's get this last chunklet done so I can break out the rasps off break off whatever you want to call it okay Woo, broke that baby in all right I already know what the next tool is the next set of tools are these babies Yeah, I was about to say, don't. <laughs> also, another thing to think about here, Drew, unless you're wanting it to look amazing, a, a bench only has to be functional. I'm much more of a stickler on what I'm doing right now, but like for benches, they just gotta be functional. They don't have to be pretty. doing this forever, not going to lie. I'm going to lie, I'm glad I got a left hand stitch rasp. <sighs> okay. 727. We're going to go at least the full two hours, guys. We're going to go till eight. Because, I mean, if I put off rasping, it just means more rasp. It just means I rasp later. This isn't one of those, oh, now I got to set up a whole new thing. It is, 
Ah, we are literally just cleaning this up. So just get the rasp spell and go. Rasp it down to the line. Hold the line, boys, hold the line. Also, I'm sorry if I haven't heard any redeems. Let me check. I didn't even think about that. I mean, Tinker, have you seen mine? Mine's nothing but tuba 12s. It, and you could park a car on it. Um, let's see. Did we... Okay, where are my... It took that off, didn't it? Okay, where are my docks? Doc. Uh, is it the stat? Is it the activity feed? What is stat? No, that is not what I wanted. <laughs> oh, you guys, I'll, I'll get those hydrates. Don't worry. One second. Just... Was it activity feed? Ah, there we go. For what, whatever reason, it didn't want to have this docked. Oh, cool. Awesome. They got docks on docks. Woo! All right. Okay. Looks like... Looks like a couple hydrates and a posture check. All right. Thank you, guys. At least now I've got it. I'm going to do one more thing because I don't really need to see what I look like on camera. Let's see if I can make this bigger because I made the chat bigger. That'll do for now. But at least now I've got something to visually look at and go, oh, I've got someone redeem something. All right, guys. Pros. Pros. Oh, there's a nail over there. I wonder what I could hang on that nail. <laughs> Let's see, this is probably not a good angle for you guys. Neither is that. Jesus. Eh. Well, that looks terrible, but whatever. Okay, if I touch my phone at all, it freezes. Awesome. So you know what? We're going to get it running and leave it the, the F alone, provided it works. <laughs> That's why it's a bad angle, because... Of course it froze. Of course. Of course, of course, a horse. There we go. This might be the first time I've used my rasp on anything and actually got to stand up straight because of how tall this is.
Man, that heater's actually doing pretty good. Note to self, whenever I'm using that saw, I'm a little bit lower on the front side, so I could probably hug the line a lot closer next time. Oh, I just saw a Max run by. Let's get our little mascot out here. Mini Max. Gotta be careful though, once you start getting up to these legs that you're not putting so much force on them that you snap it off. Um, also, make sure to break out your square every once in a while. Make sure you're not gullying in weird ways. Uh, oh, that's why. That's why Max ran out there. I just heard a a slime come back from the store or go to the store. I don't know. I just heard an unlocking of a car or a locking of a car. This is one of those, yeah, if I had a, if I used my bandsaw, I would have probably gotten way closer to the line. I have skill with bandsaw. I was brought up with bandsaw. I'll let you guys in on a secret though. The line's on the inside, so all I got to do is make the curves uniform. <laughs> and that's the secret, guys. That's the real secret. How do you make... <laughs> that's the secret I'm doing right now is I'm literally just... <sighs> oh, son of a... I really do cut uneven. Um, I'm literally just... Gonna keep going until it's uniform and there are no weird saw marks in it. And at that point, the curve's done. 
And not a person needs to know that you didn't actually make it to the exact curve you planned. But cutting them out at the same time and rasping them together will make it look pretty professional because they're getting formed to the exact same shape. So like if this gets to the point where there's no marks on it, I'll leave it alone and I'll touch it up with better, uh, with finer rasps later. Um, no. Not supposed to talk about it, um, but no, cat's not okay. Um, we are short one cat. The long and short of it. So that was, that's basically the reason I wasn't there. I, I wasn't streaming Monday. That's the easiest way to put it. We, we are, <laughs> the cat is no longer with us. Um, uh, thanks for the sympathy. Don't, don't worry too much about it. I've been through tons of pets at this point. Um, and she was old and it was her time to go is the best way to put it. It's 13. does put into sharp relief. I mean, Max is like 12. He's only got like maybe four or five years left. Um, so that, that one will probably hit worse when he goes, but he's still around. Not gonna lie, honestly, being in the shop is kind of good for me at the moment. <sighs> yeah, it was kind of hitting my mind in the background like a while ago because uh, I had to take Max to the emergency clinic twice this year, one for something that seemed serious and the other just because like I didn't want to wait for a, the vet to be open on the, or you know, to have an appointment because he had an eye infection one time and then what I thought was ter like after a thunderstorm he like ended up pinching a nerve in his neck and I was just like, uh. I don't know what's going on, but he, he hurts whenever he does anything. That was a, that was a really weird, that was the one that put to sharp relief. I was like, that Max is getting old. But yeah, uh, the cat is not with us anymore, but she's not in pain.
also part of the reason why I just wanted to do the legs today. Because it's simple work, I don't have to think through anything. Um, you just cut it, make it look pretty. It's not like lining up dados and, and rabbits for several shelves. Because that's the next step, is the backboards. I need to cut all the dados on the backboards. And this is nice, methodic work that I can just zone out on. myself, why am I doing it this way? This is going to take forever on some of this. Would a plane work faster? I'm getting dangerous, guys. Getting those weird thoughts. No, my compass plane can't make this sharp of a curve. Cheryl, how are you doing? But in all reality, this can go just as fat. Uh, honestly, it's probably the best thing to do besides maybe get a coping saw and clean it up. <laughs> or if I feel like freezing my ass off over the weekend, testing out the bandsaw. Oh, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good, Cheryl. It's fairly, fairly cold out, if you noticed. I've got a, got a heater going. Um, Monday we're probably not streaming because it's going to be negative uh, in Fahrenheit. I don't remember exactly what negative number that it'll be in in, uh, in Celsius, but I think the last time I checked it's somewhere around like negative 7 or something like that. Or not negative 7, negative like 20 maybe? I don't... I, I always have trouble. I have to look it up when because it's a non-linear conversion. But it's supposed to be down in the negatives, which is pretty dang cold, because 32 is freezing for Fahrenheit. on these guys. So I'm happy. Or cleaning them up at this point. He came in at the very pretty much near the end of what we're going to be able to do tonight. We got a good chunk of like shaping left to do. I mean, I watch you enough that you know, stealing your contents the best I can do. We got okay, yeah. Like I said, we're gonna do the full, the full till eight o'clock. And just hope that I get somewhere with forming.
Next time, err on the side of miscaution because, geez, this is going to take forever to wear everything out. somewhere with it. Like I said to everyone else, once the saw marks are gone and the, the curve is smooth, there's no reason to go all the way to the line. Ah. Well, th thank you, Cheryl. I wish TTS would work. I wish a bunch of things at this point. Have a good one, Yank. Have a good one, Drew. Some point in time, I'll remember to use your name instead of Yankee. Like I said, we probably only got about 10, 15 more minutes of, of me doing this. done but like I said we we work on a battery here <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
fact, I'm starting to starting to wear out. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, Cheryl, this is specifically for me. This cabinet is specifically for me. Um, I'm going to store woodworking books and a couple of wooden hand planes on it. It's my first real get back into furniture making since I started streaming because most of it was shop set up. And then shop rebuilding after the flood and then shop reset up after the move. <laughs> the uh, the marks like I said the, the easiest way to cheat is to not go all the way to the line just get all the marks out <sighs> feel like I should be like a five-year-old way back when we were kids and you just be like oh it's so cold outside I remember that <laughs> shit pretending we were smoking because it's so cold outside Take a quick drink and break. It's still a little bit warm. <sighs> that thing is kicking off some serious heat, and I like it. the nicks all down here so I not too worried about what I'm doing here heck you never know I might just keep streaming until we get all the nicks out ah it's so cold at least I'm keeping warm with huh says everything's connected. Why is it not? Huh. That's, that's interesting. It's still like, everything's connected correctly now, but it's still not, 
giving me any voices. It's not doing any TTS. Basically my goal is to get all the saw marks out and then we're just going to do this and check to make sure that they're flat and if they're flat, awesome, if they aren't, fix it, call it a day kind of thing. Or get it close enough that nobody will know. But we're getting close, so who knows? marks are slowly disappearing which is nice very nice <sighs> oh it's actually eight o'clock I know I've got plenty of work ahead of me still so what we should probably do and as much as you guys hate me doing it we should call it a day here just so I have battery power to clean up do everything else. So let's find where or oh, where there might be someone to raid out to. Oh, wow. Okay. So. Albatross, Scaled Crafts, the TSA, ERC. Mm -hmm. 
it looks like TSA's, uh, TSA is on a BRB at the moment. Uh, how would you guys like to see a C, uh, was it C not Bush? Um, he does, uh, he does sculptures. I, I think it'd be a good one. To raid into, so let, let's do that. C not Bush. Make sure I got it spelt correctly because I have problems with that. So he does some pretty good work, so I think uh, you guys might like it. Um, until then, uh, we're not streaming Monday, most likely. We'll see about Wednesday. It's all temperature freezing related. <laughs> all right, have a good one, guys.